Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech, and today we are checking the Bold Beast phone call recorder. Now, there are a lot of phone call recording apps in the Play Store and beyond, but none of them, or at least most of them, won't work without any root or any raw modifications to your phone. Now, obviously it depends on your phone, on your location, etc. But I had a really big problem finding any phone call recorder for my Nexus 6P and same goes for the Pixel 2 XL. But a few weeks ago, my friend pointed me out onto the Bold Beast recorder. Now, the Bold Beast recorder looks really, really not so good in terms of the UI. I mean, I don't know, it looks like they didn't update it since Android 4 or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh on the UI, but that's not the thing here. I mean, you won't look at the UI probably every day, you won't look at the app every day, obviously. So, uh, before I begin, I actually want to say that there is a, a recorder, so a voice recorder, sort of a memo that you can use as well. There's a widget for that. I don't use it, I use something else for voice recording. But in terms of phone call recording, the Bold Beast app is the only app that I found that can record both of the sides, yeah, both of the sides of the call, on the Pixel 2 XL without any root or without any modification that you'll need. If we're talking about Nexus 6P, for example, according to Boldbeast, there are only two apps that work with the Nexus 6P, even with root. I mean, on Nexus 6P, you must have root in order to record phone calls, but even with root, there are only two apps that work well on the Nexus 6P. And I knew the other app, it was made by SK Valix or something like that, but that app always required root, no matter what. It had many features, it was looking pretty cool and everything, but it's old school. The other app is Bold Beast, according to them. I contacted their support and they actually told me that the Nexus 6P was working only with two apps as far as they know. One of them is this one and the one is by SK Valex or however it was called. Anyway, uh, happily the Bold Beast on the Pixel 2 XL doesn't need anything, doesn't need root or any modification at all. So. Let's jump into the settings and first of all I want to say that I did buy the full pro version because I wanted to automatically record all the calls that I have without any limitations. You don't have to buy that, I mean you can use the free version, it's good as well, it works the same way, you just have a little bit limitations on the features. Not too much if you want to record manually uh, each call that you decide to record. You can use it with the full potential of the app. So, let's go one by one. What do we have here? Let's go to app settings so you can choose where will you save phone call recordings. Uh, if you want, you can back up to the cloud. So, they allow to back up onto, let's see, Google Drive and Dropbox. So, you can choose between those. On the cloud, uh, you can choose where will it back up, which is very important, actually. Cloud auto-delete, so basically, if you delete from your device, will it delete it also from the cloud? Very useful. You can choose use Wi-Fi only, which I do. And you can you do initial sync in case uh, it's the first time that you connected and you have many recordings. So that's a great feature as well. Let's go back one. So you have a standby indicator. That's something that I want to try to disable. Basically, if you'll disable it, uh, it will tell you that uh, it might uh, not work all the time. Uh, you should go to the better optimization and disable the optimization for this app, not optimized. So, don't do this right now, but basically I want to try that in the future. Now, you can use the icon, so basically there are transparent icons that it will just make it not let's try that. Uh, no, I think you need to go back and then it will make it. Let's see, yeah. So basically, uh, as you can see, there is on standby on the bold list, but there is no icon. You know what? I think I'll use that one. You can password protect it if you want. Uh, there's a privacy policy that you can read, etc. Uh, that's not our concern right now. 
Obviously, you should first of all check in your country if you are eligible actually to record phone calls. In my country, for example, at least one person of the call, one of the participants, has to know that there is a phone call recording. Uh, so in my case, it's okay since I'm the participant of the call, I can record the call. That's the legal issue here. Anyway, let's go to call settings. Okay, we have lots of settings here, seriously. So if you're manually recording, for example, how to manually record calls, so I think it will show you. Yeah. So you have like sort of an icon during the call. Uh, you just press it or press it twice, you'll see in a second, and it will start recording. So, a button in the call if you want to show it. Uh, if you want to choose uh, press once or press twice to start the recording. Oh, you have the option to actually move the button during the phone call. Auto record calls. Now that's one of the limitations that the free app has. It will record 30 seconds of each call if you enable that. Now there is a rule for auto call records. So basically you can record all calls. You can use an include list or exclude list. So for example, if there are specific phone numbers from your family or friends that you don't want to record, you can use the exclude list and then exclude them specifically. That's a good option, but I prefer to record everything uh, and then delete what I don't need. Works best for me. Now, let's go to record mode. Basically, there are multiple modes. So in case something is wrong and your phone doesn't record well, you can use other modes. Now, as you can see, there are more modes if you root your phone. Some phones will require root still. For example, the Nexus 6P, you will need to probably use one of those mods on the root. Actually, I think if I remember correctly, that Alsa mod worked pretty well on the Nexus 6P, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's continue. So, there are some possible ways to fix recording. So, if for example, uh, you have noises, there's a noise suppression, auto switch speaker on. Now, in some phones, uh, phone call recording will work both sides only if the speaker is enabled. So you can do this, it will automatically switch to speaker. There are multiple things here. Let's not go ahead too much into that. Um, basically, you can also choose the record format. So in my case, it chose MP3, but you can use whatever you like. WAV will probably give you the best quality, but it will be the biggest file, so choose wisely. File sampling rate, now basically you can choose the quality, I just go with auto, I think it's good enough. Incoming calls, so basically you can choose, for example, uh, auto detect answer set, so for example it will not record from the first beeps, you know, when you are starting to call. Uh, oh, sorry, that's actually the incoming call. So basically it will not start to record uh, the moment it starts calling, but only when you answer, for example, uh, etc. Um, same, I believe, will go for outgoing calls. Yeah, so pretty much the same. Uh, you can configure that as well. You can actually configure the seconds if you want, but for me it works as it is. Now, there's an option to abandon short uh, recordings. So, for example, if you have a very small phone uh, call recorded, that is only three seconds, I don't know, somebody didn't answer you or something, or uh, something was wrong there, and the call disconnected, so you can just configure that, and it will automatically abandon those calls. Pretty neat feature, but I didn't happen to use that yet. Now, this one I very like. So, I do record all the phone calls. But uh, I prefer not auto save them, but after each call to decide whether I want to save it or not. This is a very good feature for me since you never know, maybe the phone call will be about nothing with your friend and there will be nothing important and you don't want to save it. So in the end of the call, you just decide. But in case there was something important, so for example, yesterday I spoke with my friend and we decided to go to a movie today, but if, for example, I forgot at which time, I will be able to hear the call recording and know which time we spoke about. So that's a good idea, and I just choose yes to save that call, and that's it. So there's a file name format, basically name if you have it in your contact, the number, then the time, and if it's an input or output, you can change that as well. 
pretty nice that they include that. Sadly, you cannot customize it fully, but I think the options here are good enough. You don't need anything else. Now, that's something that I don't like, and I did uh, a new feature request, and I'll tell you what happens. So, basically, uh, in some apps, you can auto-delete files that are older than one month, for example, or whatever you choose, for example, one week, one day, I don't know, whatever. In this app, you can only choose the maximum space limit, so in case that you have more than 100 megabytes of phone calls, it will delete the older ones until, you know, sort of file in, file out, FIFO. But it's not according to dates, which is a sad thing in my case. But I did request a feature, so hopefully they will add according to months and dates. It will be easier to work with that way. Now there's something that is called auto-protect list. Uh, basically it will auto-protect um, phone calls from specific uh, people or from specific phone numbers. Uh, it will not delete it automatically or won't allow you to delete it that easily. You'll have to first of all disable the auto protect there and then delete it. Another thing that the company mentioned uh, on their mail, I was chatting with them on the mail, that the Boldvist is the only app that supports, that fully supports Huawei phones. So I'm not really sure if that's true or not. I mean, I didn't check all the apps obviously on the Play Store, but I know a lot of people that have Huawei phones so that's uh, potentially very good app for them. Again, even the Nexus 6P was made by Huawei and it can record there as well. Obviously that one only with root, but that's another great thing. So uh, again, as I said, there's a memo option. You can use that as well. I don't like to record with that any memos. I use something different. In case you played too much with the settings and you want to reset, so basically you can reset here. Obviously I'm not going to do that. Um, oh, you have other languages. Let's see what you have. So you have uh, Chinese Simplified, Chinese Tradition, English, French, German, Italian, Persian, Portuguese, Brazil, Russian, Spanish, Turkish. I think I can actually help them add Hebrew. Mm, I'll probably contact them for that. Anyway, we pretty much covered all the settings. As you can see, the app doesn't look that well, but the settings are okay. I mean, you can understand what's going on here. The main list looks very ugly and I'll have to cover probably most of the data on the following uh, page but if you click the call list you can basically see uh, if the phone was made from unknown and to which direction. You can choose multiple calls to delete or protect or whatever. Uh, you can listen to calls, we'll actually make a test call in a moment. You can also move files, you can use external player in order to play um, calls, which is very good. I actually didn't notice that until now. Now, during a phone call play, it doesn't work very... I mean, it works, but there's an icon here that will allow you to change from speaker phone to your main speaker. And I don't know, that doesn't work pretty well for me. There's also a search button, so you can search here the name of a file, etc. Uh, let's go ahead and try a test phone call. So, uh, I will use for that a speaker, uh, so you'll hear as well. Now, basically, um, there's a US phone number that whatever you say to it, it will echo back to you. Uh, there's no menu, nothing, just call that phone number and it will echo back whatever you say. So, let's try that out. One, two, three, test. Uh, as you can hear, the other side quality isn't good but on that test, but that depends on the phone on the other side, basically. Anyway, one, two, three, test. This is a test call. Let's um, close the call. As you've seen, there was an icon of the bold beast. And here you can see all the details of this call duration, time, format, everything, how much size does it take and you can choose whether you want to save it or not. We'll choose yes. And that's it, now we have our test call here. Let's try to listen to it. As you can see, you can do multiple options here. You can actually call back from here, you can choose more details, you can add a note, which is very great. 
you can rename the file, you can delete it and playback. So as you can hear, um, it's not loud enough probably, but both of the sides you can hear pretty well. You can also play it on other players, so you'll hear it even better. Again, there's, you know what, let's play it again. Again, as I said, there's um, a speakerphone and non-speakerphone. Now for some reason, uh, this call, and specifically this call, started to record uh, the moment I think I chose speakerphone. So probably um, it made a sort of a little bug, but usually it starts recording only after the person answers. So that's a good idea. So that's it, this is the Bold Beast. I really recommend this app, I mean, it's amazing, it does the job. I'll give a link in the description of this video where you can download it from the Play Store for free and you'll be able to also purchase the full version if you'd like. Again, as I said, it's a great app, it will work without any root on your Google Pixel 2 XL. You can try that on any phone without any issues, you can try the different modes and hopefully you'll have luck as well. That's it, see you in the next one! Guys, before I finish this video, I have a few things to mention. First, YouTube has demonetized our channel for now and the reason for that is that we don't have enough subscribers. So in order to get monetized on YouTube and receive money, etc., which I did for a while, you do need from now on to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time for the last 12 months, which we do have. So we do lack of about 140 subscribers also. So if you're not subscribed yet, or if you know anyone that is interested in tech, security and everything what I do here on this channel, please let them know and ask them to subscribe as well, so they will be able to follow us and also help us to grow as well. Another thing before I go is Instagram. If you want, you can follow me now on Instagram. Yes, I did fall to that as well. Basically, I don't use it for the channel specifically. I just take some photos and share them there, uh, including Facebook and other platforms. Uh, so I do tend to share some cool pictures around, uh, just views, landscape. Uh, if I travel, I try to post more as well. Nothing specific to the channel or any tech-related stuff, but I'll try also to post some notifications about new videos on the channel on Instagram. So keep in mind that you can follow me uh, on Instagram as well if you'd like. And now we can finally finish this video. Thank you for watching this Demos Tech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.